I'm Connor. And I'm Blue. Dabu dee dabu die. Dabu dee dabu die? Dabu dee dabu die. And checkpoint starts now. So recently, Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans, the actors who played Iron Man and Captain America, if you've been living under a rock. I have been living under a rock. Okay, well, he's but the exception. <laughs> they made an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live to show off for the first time the official Captain America Civil War trailer. You've seen it, right? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. I haven't seen any Captain America movies, but I'm I excited either. for this one. I'm actually, I'm invested. <laughs> 31 million views later, the trailer is a viral success. But another piece of huge news is what Downey revealed in the interview with Kimmel. After Evans was complaining about shooting in the heat with the Atlanta sun beaming down on him in his it's skin tight so suit, whew, Downey said to Evans, By the way, we are going to be shooting in Atlanta again, you and I. So, Aiden, this could mean like three things. Either the Infinity War, like part one and two, the production starting soon, they could make a cameo in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Or they could show up in the Spider-Man solo movie. Can I just say I love your enthusiasm, but go on. I just like the thought of them being with Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like my favorite superhero. And we know that the, the Thor Ragnarok movie, where's that being filmed? That's being filmed in Australia, actually. Australia. And then Doctor Strange, not going to be in Atlanta. Not in Atlanta. In New York, I think. So, yeah, just the possibility of Spider-Man teaming up with Iron Man and Captain America. The dream trio. The odds are high. I mean, the odds and the hopes are high. But the numbers are out, and after looking at the data, you know, I picked up, you know, I picked up Guardians of the Galaxy. I yeah. picked up uh, Avengers, Avengers 2 cool. on Black Friday. Oh, the yes. The deals. The oh, deals. Man, the deals. And, but what won, surprisingly, was PlayStation 4 saw a drastic increase in console sales and beat out Nintendo and Microsoft for that top seed of Black Friday sales. And I was thinking, like, duh. Like, duh, PlayStation's winning the console war? You told me last year. Yeah, actually, last year, the same people that did this study found that the Xbox sold better. Hmm. And of console sales, from millennials, about 33%, and of middle-aged buyers, about 38%. It stood out, and the Nathan Drake Collection bundle was Best Buy's bestseller in terms of total dollars spent. Other big sellers were the Amazon Kindle Fire, Disney Infinity Figures, and... Ironically enough, Xbox Live Gold memberships. Maybe that's for their 360s or for the Xbox Ones they bought last year. You that know, would make like, sense if they bought them last year and now they're buying the subscriptions this year. Yeah. But, hey. You know, so, I've just been in an anime mood recently. I can tell by your shirt. Yes. Lovely I shirt, by the way. Love Cowboy Bebop. This is an influential series, and I've also heard about another influential series, Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, Ghost in the Shell has been killing it recently with a newfound surge in popularity. Absolutely. Slated for an early 2016 release, they actually have a virtual reality on-rails video tour of the key scenes from the original movie that will release for smartphone VR goggles and Samsung Gear and Google Cardboard. Yeah, and they're using that same technology that they had in like the Halloween advertisements mm -hmm. where you can look around the room with your phone. It's so cool. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely You can be in an anime, people. And we'll provide a link in the description because it's super cool and you got to check it out. But yeah, it's a whole 10 minute oh, yeah. video that they're releasing. I mean, and even earlier this year, Funimation released all four of the brand new movies in theaters. And there's a video game titled Ghost in the Shell First Assault, which is coming to Steam in December. Yeah. And Scarlett Johansson, my celebrity crush, is going to be starring in a live action movie that's slated for 2017. Oh, yeah. So I'm pumped for that. I'm definitely going to see it just because of Scar Joe. But you got to sell me on why I should look at the original like series or films. Aiden, Absolutely. Because I haven't seen them. Um, probably if you look, Ghost in the Shell takes place five, five years in the future. So if you look at everything that we have now and you look at what we have in five years in the future, I would say it's the most scientifically accurate depiction of the future really? of any sci-fi series. I nice. mean, it's visually stunning. It's absolutely beautiful and it doesn't, the original movie is dated, but that was back, you know, that, that was almost 30 years ago. This was in the early 90s. All right, cut us some slack. <laughs> yeah, so you have to give it, you know, a little bit, a little bit of space. But no, Ghost in the Shell is a fantastic series that you can find on, you know, Crunchyroll, Hulu, really, wherever your standard. It used to be on Netflix. I don't think it is anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. But, you know, hey, that wraps up our show for this week. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at and at ByteBSU.com. There you go. And remember, if you lose your progress, you always have a checkpoint. Good night, everybody. Have a good one. <laughs>